Hello, and welcome to a statue review of the Corifal Rem Memory Snow Dog version. So, today this is the first uh, statue of Rem I've ever opened, and the first ReZero statue as well. Despite the fact there is literally millions of Rem variation statues out there, um, it's taken a while. I mean, I like her design and everything, and it finally took until I found out about this to finally buy it, because... I think we can all agree, dog girls are better than cat girls. I'll just, I'll, I'll leave everyone to click off the video there, give it a thumbs down, uh, maybe leave a hateful comment. Uh, so, um, I mean, it's, it's not something, it is something I genuinely believe, uh, dog girls are better than cat girls, but I thought, hey, you know, why not alienate most of my viewership uh, upon clicking on this. Although probably, to be fair, if you've clicked on something with the title dog version, maybe you are a patrician as well. So we'll take a quick look at the box and then I'll open it up and we'll take a look inside. So there she is. As we can see, it is Corifal, Figa, that's Remu, uh, Memory Snow, and that's Wanko the. Uh, so Wanko in uh, Japanese is dog or doggy. Um, I saw it described somewhere as puppy, and that's it's just weird. She she's clearly not a puppy, uh, and obviously ver is short for version. Uh, so there's a shot of her in her like maid outfit doing the 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 typical dog pose. It looks a bit like a cat pose as well, I suppose. There is a close up of her face, and there's a close up of her tail. It's not really close up, is it? No. Um, and then the top is just plain. It is by Taito and Jaya. Um, and the bottom is legal stuff, which everyone likes, that's what you're here for. Right, I'm going to open it up and show you guys exactly what comes inside, then I'll assemble her BRB. Okay, so uh, it kind of all comes in one piece, which is a surprise. So it's got the plastic packaging, and then this was on the back, which is the base. So it's time to assemble her. Alright, I have assembled her. It was uh, very easy. So, let's take a look at the statue in detail. So, we'll start from the base and go up as always. So, much like the Sagiri statue I opened a few weeks ago, uh, check that one out if you're curious, we have a really cool base again. Um, so, again, it's sort of, it's fairly thin plastic, but it does have the um, the set and everything on it. It does say ReZero starting life in another world. Which is pretty cool. I um I do like these bases. They are, even though they're kind of cheapish, they they do look a bit more aesthetic than the kind of just standard, you know, white or blue or whatever the uh, other companies do. So you know, bonus points for that. So let's take a look at the statue. So we've got kind of furry-ish boots or whatever. She seems to be wearing tights now. I presume memory snow um is some something maybe it's set in like a certain part of the anime or whatever now part of me does wonder why is she dressed as a dog girl but um being as subaru can sort of uh come back after several different deaths i like to imagine that in each sort of like time he is reincarnated uh the different version of rem appears and this is just one of them where he wakes up in a world full of dog girls one can only dream. So, right, um, so yeah, she's got like white leggings and stuff. What panties does she have on? Again, this is YouTube, I'm not gonna show you that. Uh, I can't see any. So, um, next we have, and this is not gonna come across on camera very well at all, but we have a kind of texture to her um, dress. It feels a little bit rough, a little bit rugged, which is quite nice. Um, and it's even broken by this white line, so you can really feel the like difference in texture, uh, so that that is a big plus. Also, uh, because I'm I'm always on the lookout for nice flowing fabric. Gotta say, this looks pretty good, uh, especially like the little dips here. Everything's kind of in motion. It looks very clean. Uh, honestly, this is the second Corfal statue now where I've kind of expected average quality. And don't get me wrong, this isn't this isn't two hundred pound figure quality range but it's a lot better than I was expecting so I don't know maybe maybe I really am underestimating these cheaper figures so we've also got the kind of front part of the made out I don't know made outfit terminology very well unfortunately but that's got 
few little nice indentures as well. Uh, again, it's kind of subtle. And honestly, the contrast does make this look a little bit kind of um, like satiny or kind of like a soft fabric, which I, I really like. So that's very nice. Now, we've got the goods, the bow. No, uh, but we do have a bow, which is, the, the bow is cute. I suppose it is tapering down, that, that's flicking up again. Bit of motion, always like that. And of course, we have the thing we're all here for, the dog tail. Look at that, that's very cute. Um, part of me is wondering, why why didn't they like just commit to it and make the, the fur blue? Why, why isn't she like a blue furred dog girl? It's, you know, cat girls are always like weirdly hair coloured. I'm going to move this from the back. Uh, but you know, whatever. Um, I, I still think it's very cute. Uh, and there is a little bit of detailing on it. There's, it kind of goes a little bit darker on the tip there, which is quite nice. So we are up to her um, her sleeves now, her massive, ah, and they've got dog bones, wait, no, no, that is just a, um, wait, no, no, okay, no, that's a bow, but it looks like dog bones from a distance, well, I'm going to take that as a dog motif, and there we've kind of got all the frilly uh, ends to her maid outfit and stuff, don't remember that being part of a regular one, but I've, I've only watched season one and it's been a while. I do need to watch season two. There she has her hands in the like boxing slash dog girl <laughs> setup, I guess. If her if her face looked different, it would look like she was ready to spar. Cause uh, she she does get quite violent when she when she activates that like demon mode. Uh that was pretty cool. So she's got her like neck part of the of the maid outfit uh again i do not know ter terminology but you know it's very nice and it, it does feel uh i mean this the black part of course has the same texturing as down here and the white is very smooth so again massive kudos to that it's kind of maybe coming across on camera but it is very hard to tell anyway um and then of course we get on to her bow there which is very nice Got a pink bow in her hair, which she always has, I think. Definitely that that's a regular part of her. And there is her adorable face. Look at her. She's happy to be a dog girl. And who wouldn't be? Um, but yeah, Rem is definitely, I think, the cutest of the ReZero girls. Amelia's a close second, uh, obviously. But uh, I don't know. I think, I think Subaru made the wrong choice. Uh, and then we move up, of course, to the best parts which is her dog ears. Very cute there. I I guess that's where they'd stick out if you were a dog girl. Um, I mean, I, I, do, I do hate to break the illusion for some people here. She is wearing a headband and those look awfully like they're attached to the headband. Uh, she does have dog bones on the top though. Extra credit there. Uh, although they they could be bows as well, um, they are very strange bones. Bones typically in like anime have two nubs. There's three there, but you know uh, that is very cute as well. Uh, and that's the back of her hair. Her hair is you know it is very nice actually. It's it's, it's a lot more detailed than I anticipated actually. Uh, but yeah, and she's got that fringe. I do love that fringe uh, covering the one eye. And that's her you for all you you fetishists out there. I, I have no doubt that exists. I don't even need to Google it. Uh, so I presume the tail is maybe attached to her like dress as well or whatever. Um, again, I'm sorry to shatter the illusion, all of you dog girl fans. Right, so uh, you know what comes next. It is time for some music and photos of, of this statue in like various angles and stuff so you guys can get a better look. So here is my montage. Alright, I am back. So, I'll be honest, uh, with that photo session, I did realise that there's not there's not a ton going on with the statue, if that makes sense. I mean, there kind of is, but it's, it's fairly straightforward, but hopefully that maybe illustrated some details in higher definition. But, yeah, 
To be honest, I'm, I'm quite a fan of this. Um, much like the colourful Sagiri from a few weeks back, I'm kind of impressed by the amount of detailing in it um, for its price point. So obviously this is a Korean game kind of prize thing. I mean, typically in Japan you're looking at spending like $10 to get something like this. Um, obviously over here we pay a premium because we don't have claw machines like that. But still, I mean, you know, it, it's still quite an entry-level statue or whatever. Um, and to be honest, kind of like with the Sagari, I did kind of buy this a little bit for the meme. Um, I mean, I, I like Rem anyway, so I, I did want a Rem statue because there are so many out there. I was like, okay, I, I need to get one of them. They're all very cute, but I mean, I like her, but I'm not ready to, you know, buy every statue that comes out because, as I said, there are hundreds. But this one especially took me, uh, I don't know, just by surprise. I don't see many dog girl statues, cat girls. It's a dime a dozen. Uh, they're definitely not a dime, though. They're several million dimes. Uh, but, I don't know, this one was just very cute. Or, you know, I I like it. I don't have a maid statue either, so I was like, you know what? This kind of covers both of them. But yeah, overall, I think this is a pretty darn solid statue. It um, does exactly what you'd expect, really. It, it It's nothing, like, super crazy. And, you know, if... If you're not into ReZero, or Dog Girls, or Maids, then this isn't going to sway you or anything. But if you like all three, then, I don't know, I'd say this is a pretty good purchase. Especially because you can probably get this for around £20, about $25 or something. Um, and it's pretty ubiquitous, you know, it's, it's a prize figure, so it's definitely not rare or anything. But yeah, I, I really like this. Um, this will definitely go on my Dog Girl display. Actually, I, I'll show you guys this picture of my Dog Girl display. There you go, can you see a theme? Um, yeah, so that about wraps it up, really. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know if anyone else has one of these, or if anyone else has like a REM statue that they were really impressed with, because uh, I'm sure there's loads of really good ones out there. I don't think I'll end up buying another one, to be honest, unless it's like a really weird one of like Rem dressed as, I don't know, a character from a different anime or something. Maybe then, but you know, um, I, I've I've ticked the Rem box for now. Um, and yeah, let me know if if you guys know of any other like ReZero statues of any of the other characters as well, because I might get a Ram just to kind of even it out. Um, I don't think there's a Dog Girl Ram. Maybe there's a Cat Girl Ram. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'll stop rambling now about anime girls, and I'll let you guys go. So, as I said, thank you very much for watching. I'll leave a playlist for my other statues um, by here, if you haven't seen the Sagri one. Uh, I, I quite enjoyed that one as well. And I'll leave a random video at the bottom there for whatever YouTube deigns worthy of your viewership. Yeah. So, until next time, goodbye.